let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome, the podcast that is sponsored by Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah, we're I say okay. that because we are winning. Yeah, we something. are. We are winning the internet. That's what we're doing. This podcast is epic winning, and yeah, that's how we roll. <laughs> so, we don't bang seven gram rocks like he do, like he does. We're not on drugs called Charlie Sheen, but we're winning. So, uh, along for me with, on this uh, wonderful winning podcast is Susie and Mike. How are you, Susie? I'm not too bad. Uh, just had crises with technology failing me, but other than that, I'm peachy. Peaches and gravy? Yes. There's gravy. There is gravy. Peaches and gravy. <laughs> Yay. There has to be gravy. Gravy is delicious. Oh, yeah. How about you, Mike? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm not on drugs this time. <laughs> it's a good thing you're, you're not on drugs after off. the fact that I just said that this podcast is not on drugs. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I sure you would have just ruined nice. everything. I sobered up. <laughs> you sobered up from yeah. drugs? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Intervention? You said last episode, you guys said you're gonna do an intervention for me, but I cured myself. You did it. I did it myself. Well, I'm sure you'll be back. You'll be back. They always go back, so you will have your intervention. Yes. Okay. I guess we should move on to uh, the big one, which was the Oscar reaction. It's our Oscar reactions. We voted on what we thought was going to win, oh god, how long ago? That was a month ago. uh, The results have been in for a while, and uh, I've got the results here, and we're just going to quickly go over them, give our reactions to uh, who won and all that. So, we'll start with Best Picture. Susie and Mike, you guys picked Toy Story 3, I picked The Social Network, and we were all wrong. It was The King's Speech, which, (laughs) eh. Yeah. Was... Oh no 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 no! I've seen it now. I've seen it now. That's that's gone up in my list of favorite movies with the Truman Show. That and the Truman Show are my favorite films now. That's mm. even surpassed Toy Story three. So I was surprised uh, mm. after we did. I saw it too, after... and I think it. I think it's good, but I kind of agree with uh, who was it? Luke Mockery. Or just, I think it was Luke Mockery. He said it was good, but it was. It, it wasn't better than those other movies that were there. It it was good, yeah. but it's not as it's not a best picture film. I don't think so. And anyway, but it yeah, was surprising. I, I thought it, it was, it was get good. It. I, it's like don't get me wrong, it was a great <laughs> movie, but compared to the Social Network and Toy Story three, I disagree. So yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, best actor pick, uh, Susie. You were right about this one. It was Colin Firth, even though yes. Mike picked Jesse Eisenberg. I picked Jeff Bridges. It, Colin Firth got his. Congratulations, Colin. I still think Jeff Bridges should have got it, but that's just me. Yes, it's Best just supporting you. Actor. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. Best supporting actor, Mike, you are correct in picking Je- uh, Christian Bale, and Susie and I were wrong with Jeffrey Rush. Right. And, yeah. I was like, right. Not like you knew, Mike. <laughs> I know, but I was like, holy crap, I got one right. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Best actress, we all picked Natalie Portman, and we were right. Pretty much no shock there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Best <laughs> Best supporting actress, I picked Haley Steinfeld, and uh, Susie, you picked Amy Adams. Mike, we skipped you because you had no opinion. The winner was Melissa Leo from The Fighter. I loved yeah. her acceptance speech. That was absolutely... She was completely shocked. Yeah. And everything. And, think, the, and the fact she just swore in the middle of it was just class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, best animated feature. I don't think there was really going to be any question to this. Toy Story 3. Hey. Yeah. Even though I did like How to Train Your Dragon, uh, Toy Story 3 won. It should have, and it did. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Best art direction. Mike, you were correct about this in picking Alice in Wonderland, even though you had no idea what art direction meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucked out on I that one. I had picked Inception. Uh, Susie, you had picked Harry Potter. Uh, but the winner was Alice in Wonderland. Congratulations, Mike. You've won two. Yeah. <laughs> in case you're keeping score, because I sure as shit ain't. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Best... Best costume design. Oh, no, no, no. I skipped one. I'm sorry. Best cinematography. I picked Inception as well as Mike. Susie picked Black Swan, but the winner was, in fact, Inception. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Best costume design. We all picked Alice in Wonderland. The winner was Alice in Wonderland because they all looked like a bunch of fruitcakes and they had to... Mm -hmm. uh, best director. We all picked, we all picked uh, David Fincher, uh, but... Tom Hooper won. That one I completely disagree with. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, Tom Hooper. Again, the King speech was nice, but not because of Tom Hooper. I well, he is the director, but I, still, he was good, but not better than David fucking Fincher. Who <laughs> I smell bitterness in the air. <laughs> oh, I'm. Oh well, no, no, no. I mean, I, again, like I said. Uh, the King's Speech was a good film, but fuck, The Social Network was so much better. <laughs> yeah. mm. I've got oh. the DVD on the way, so I'm, I'm still to judge uh, what, The Social King's Network. Oh, I have it. Oh. Uh, I've got The Social Network on the way and How to Train Your Dragon. I got Both recently, great so... Yeah, I've got those to look forward to. Okay, best, uh, best documentary. We skipped it, but I said Kick Assia would win, and it didn't somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, inside job, whatever. No. Best documentary uh, on a short subject. I said go with Kickassy again, but we liked the sound of Quigang, but Quigang didn't win. Yeah. Strangers no more. Woohoo. <laughs> Best film editing. We picked the Social Network with one. See, told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best foreign language film, we all picked Outside the Law, but In a Better World one. And this is upsetting, because that was Hors Laloi. <laughs> yeah, oh my no! god. Oh my god. No! No, Hors Laloi didn't win. Uh, best makeup, we skipped it, but I said Kikassia again. And The Wolfman, which was not a great movie, should have been nominated yeah. for anything, Pick picked that one up. Um, yeah. Pity Oscars. Best originals. Every other must get pity Oscars. Yeah. yeah. That was one of them. Yeah. Best original score. We all picked Hans Zimmer for Inception, and he got snubbed. And Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross for The Social Network. Well, I guess if anybody should have won it, it should have been The Social Network. Yeah. Best original song. We skipped, and I went with Kikassia. <laughs> <laughs> and... Toy Story 3, Randy Newman, he won it. Uh, I'm kind of side with uh, Doug on this one. I don't really like Randy Newman. Yeah, it, when you when you listen to the songs, I thought the song from Tangled actually was better. I haven't seen Tangled, but that song was really good. And yeah. Especially with the fact that Zach, uh, Zach Levi was in that movie, which I did not know. I thought Chuck was in a Disney movie? Yeah. So, <laughs> I love Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to um, the best animated short, where Mike and I picked Day and Night because it was the only one we'd seen, and Susie, you picked the Gruffalo, but we were all wrong. It was the Lost Thing. Wonderful Ooh. name. Our best live-action short film pick was Nawewe, but we were <laughs> wrong again. And then God of Love won. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. No yes. way, way, all the way, way. Yes. No way, way. No way, way. Best sound <laughs> editing pick. Uh, Mike and I picked Tron Legacy because Daft Punk is bomb, and Susie, you picked Toy Story 3. But we were all wrong, and Inception won it. Yeah. Uh, best sound mixing. For some reason, we all picked Salt. Because Did we all pick salt? the reason why is that we never saw salt on the list again for any other nominations. Yeah. And, oh, we said, oh. and then we said salt was good. Did we? Oh. Well, salt Inception won. 
<laughs> salt is Yay. tasty. It goes good. Salt yeah. Makes a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Best visual effects. Um, Susie, you picked Harry Potter. I picked Inception. Mike, you said something stupid and you were skipped. And Inception <laughs> won. And there's only two awards left. We had the Best Adapted Screenplay, where Mike and I picked The Social Network. Susie, you picked Toy Story 3. Jesus, you're in love with that movie. And the winner was <laughs> The know. Social Network. Hooray! Hooray for The Social Network. You can tell that I like it a lot. I really love that movie. Uh, and the last one, Best Original Screenplay, we picked Inception, and Christopher Nolan was snubbed again, and The King's Speech won that one. Yay! It's not original. It's not original. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's The King's King Speech! Shut your mouth! <laughs> he did it first. It's not original. So, if it won an award, I don't care. It's awesome. Yeah, the... No, it's not. He that's... King speaks rules. <laughs> it's a good movie, but I don't like it. <laughs> now, if you like it so much, how come you didn't pick it? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it when we did these predictions, but I've seen it now, and I love it. <laughs> it's a little too late for that. There. <laughs> yeah. It's about a guy getting over <laughs> a stutter. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway. I can re I can relate him kind of because he had uh, speech therapy and so did I. So, I understand. I suppose we should move <laughs> on to uh, Mike, your weird news segment that makes Susie and I probably die a little inside every day when we hear them. But please, yeah, start death. Yes, uh, I found three this time, and uh, the first article is like a. Uh, a cop story of a arrest. Uh, this one says, Woman smeared poop on bus driver's seat. Oh! 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 Oh!
All right, yeah, moving oh, on. Been pissed. <laughs> who, who put shit on my driver's seat? Wait. Mm. <laughs> no, no. No, not, a, not, not even as the driver. It's like the arresting officer. This woman smelled like ass. I would not want to arrest her. Yeah. <laughs> Just poke over the seat, right? You go in the car. You go in the car. No, 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 I'm not going to touch you. you no, no, car. I would grab, like, a fire hose, and I'd hook it up to a fire hydrant, and I'd blast her with it. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd arrest her. Yeah. Uh, Are you clean? Right, get the What else you got, Mike? Um, yeah. The next article is, uh, Alligator found guarding South California pot farm. Okay. It was high. <laughs> uh, because it got high. <laughs> when police raided a pot farm in this uh, Southern California desert community, they found an unusual watchdog, a four-foot alligator named Wally. They named it? Wally! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 55... I was gonna guard the farm, but then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> for, for some reason, reason I can see if I it was, was a stoned alligator, I can see it being the, like one of the guards from the wizard that was going, oh, wee, oh, wee, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, see, the 55, the 55, the police are at my pop farm, and I know why, what man, why, because I got high, because I got high, because I got high, la da 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 uh, let's see, the 50-pound American alligator was found lounging Monday night in a black cement mixing tub located in the back area of the house where 2,285 plants were growing. Oh, it was in a mixing tub? So it's not guarding it, it's just chilling. <laughs> uh, let's see, the marijuana is, was valued at $1.5 million. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's... that's a pretty penny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And the, uh, the alligator is back to his original home in the Everglades. Yeah, because I'm sure its parents named him Wally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he took a few presents home for the family. <laughs> pot. You know, all those, yeah. all that pot, $1.5 million, uh, $1 million, that's probably just enough to, to uh, supply just Los Angeles. <laughs> Not even. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just figured. Maybe all of Burbank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe one guy. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what else you got? All right. The uh, last article is uh, high school bans banning. Hi they ban hugging. Ah. Uh, Why? A Australian high school has banned students from hugging and warned that those caught in the act will be sent to detention, according to parents. Uh, uh, have they moved Australia to Dubai? <laughs> yeah, didn't you know hugging is the number one cause of AIDS? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Not if it gives you cancer. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Uh, hugging is um, hugging is known as something that the devil does, and if you do it, then you're the devil. Do you want to be the devil? Then you better not hug. <laughs> oh God, then I'm pretty screwed. <laughs> uh, Who comes up with rules like that? Is it the principal there? Is it like a dictatorship kind of thing where it's just the principal in Australia, or do they have like a parent board? I think it's like a parent they board. They must have and... Sue Sylvester over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only good part of that show. Yeah. yeah I love it, her. Oh, oh, <laughs> even the Gleek admits it. <laughs> it's it's so so is the only good part of that show. <laughs> no, 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 she's one of the best. Said, you said it. One of the best. I said the only good part, and you were like, yeah. No, 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 wait, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> My reputation no, as a gleek is gone! Because <laughs> I'm just thinking about the wedding episode. I loved how she married herself. That was, that was awesome. Like I said, the only good part of that show. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yes. 
Name so one hugging. other good thing about that show. Too long! Haha, <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on to the subject of banning hugging. It's yeah, that's, stupid. It is stupid. I, there's, there's, I'm reading and there's no reason... They have no reason why? There's no reason why they ban hugging. It's dumb. Not really who should do it, because it doesn't really... It People are just gonna hug... Exactly. It doesn't really it's solve gonna... any great... Yeah. So, um, yeah, the most awesome. Um, yeah. Suze, how about you start? Well, start us off. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into a big ramble as I was going to do. Uh, basically, the most awesome movie of the week is one of my favorites, and it's Office Space. Um, it's, it's one of those films I like to watch when you just need a little giggle. It's just so hysterical. So, yes, the most awesome so movie of the week is Office Space. Office Space. Why? <laughs> because it's funny and I love the casting in it and it's just one of the one of the best movies I've seen. It's in my list of top movies and I love it. In fact, awesome. Jennifer Aniston doing a comedic role outside of Friends is brilliant. Awesome. Mike? Uh, the most awesome song of the week is from a Canadian band. The awesome one that is. Uh, Rush with Tom Sawyer. Awesome song. Mm. Why? That's really good. Uh, <laughs> <part> of, <laughs> sorry, because sorry. it's awesome! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> good enough. There's an excellent, there's an excellent guitar solo in it, and I jam to it every single time when it's on. And I suppose that's good enough. <laughs> good enough. Yes. Anyway. So, yeah, the most awesome game of the week is actually has, like, a reason to be the most awesome game of the week. It's Pac-Man, and the reason is it's the 25th anniversary, and, uh, yeah, uh, Pac-Man was one of the great maze games. I've played it many times, and, yeah, mine has a reason, so take that, kitty. Yes! Fine. And that brings <sighs> us to the random question. Da, 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 da. Yay! <laughs> and it is this. If you could own one piece of movie me memorabilia, that is to say any object from any movie, whether it be real, made up, doesn't matter, any object from any movie, and it could be yours to own, what would you, what would you pick? Oh, <laughs> I know mine. I know mine. You better not be stealing mine. I got mine in my head. No, 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 no. The red, red ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, really? I've always wanted a pair of them. I've always wanted a pair of them. I love The Wizard of Oz with a passion. I love it. I'd, I'd love to own them and pat them on my shelf. And, oh, I have the red ruby slippers. I can go skipping down the yellow brick road. <laughs> <laughs> You have a special urge to go home, Susie? Really yeah. enjoy doing yeah. that? I want to go to Kansas. <laughs> There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Click, click, no, I just think they're gorgeous. <laughs> they're just beautiful. and it's, it's just a reminder of that movie. I love the movie. I love it. Okay. Okay. Mike? Uh, I would have to go with the uh, DeLorean time machine for Back to the Future. <laughs> I knew it, kick it too. I knew, because ever since I saw that on the screen, I was like, "That is the coolest car ever," and I want to drive that car. I want to go back in time, or forward in the future. You want to go back to nineteen eighty-five? Oh yeah, yeah. Go, back, go back to the eighties and just mm. relive it. <laughs> Were you even, how old are you? Were you even, like, born in the 80s? Actually, 89. So, no! <laughs> I want to relive the 80s that I wasn't a part of. <laughs> you know, I just missed the end of it. I'm so terrible. Oh, I'm a legit I was idiot. born in 92, at least I was a 90s kid. If I could have anything from any movie, I would want The Ark from 2012. Why? Because it's 
big and it would be all for me. <laughs> and it looks like a giant turd. No. It looks like a giant turd. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> like 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 yeah. the next time you, you take a crap like that, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to even mention the ship in the in your toilet well. that looks like one of the ships from 2012. Please let me know because you <laughs> need to go to a hospital. <laughs> no, if you're poop, if, if you're you... pooping thirty ton turds, you need to go see someone <laughs> <laughs> in miniature form. Yeah, in miniature form with windshields and everything, huh? Yeah. You pooping glass, Susie? <laughs> <laughs> what the no, hell? I'm eating toilet paper. <laughs> so I suppose the turd analogy was a bit off, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well thought out. No, I was I was inspired by that story you told us the, the woman addicted to toilet paper, so I thought I'd give that a try. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's bad for you. Sherlock. <laughs> that was so awesome. That's bad for you through mouthfuls. <laughs> Anyway, I, I would want the Ark, because I could probably do a bitchin' review show from it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome that, to my underground lair. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my underground lair. I have gathered here before me the world's deadliest assassins. And yet, <laughs> each of you has failed to kill Austin Powers. That makes me angry, and when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! Die! <laughs> you know, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their head. No, evidently, my, psych my psychoptic friend informs me that that can't be done. Uh, can you remind yeah. me what I pay you before? Honestly, throw me a bone here. <laughs> Freaking bone here. <laughs> we have sea bass. Are they ill-tempered? <laughs> <laughs> they are mutated sea bass. <laughs> that's, a, that's a star. I love that freaking movie. Why would you put them in that. one room with one inept guard? God, you do this every time! Because <laughs> it's awesome powers. But it's awesome. Yes, it is. My oh, Fasha! Your what? Austin Powers Fasha! <laughs> How about no? Crazy Dutch bastard! <laughs> Don't speak free Eeky Dutch. <laughs> anyway, if, if I couldn't have the Ark from 2012, I would want the One Ring from Lord of the Rings. Precious. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, go attacking. Who's No <laughs> <laughs> right, get on with that. I've got that on the I've got them on I've got the Holy Grail special edition and on the menu it just goes play movie. Yeah, I got it's that one too. Uh, <laughs> I love that movie so much. Oh, I love the Holy Grail. I like that and movie, and I like I like uh, uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. That's a Mel Brooks We're one. Ben. I love. We're Ben Tights. Tights. Men in Tights. 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 We roam around the village street for fights. Tights. <laughs> we may look like sissies, but watch what you say, or else we'll put out your lights. Watch. <laughs> Looking for fights. 
<laughs> Blink and fix your boot. You look like a bleeding Picasso. <laughs> oh wow. Anyway, <laughs> watch my back. Your back just got punched twice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, one of the very few movies Kitty Elvis was brilliant in. That and The Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh, we don't count man. Saw. We don't count him in Saw. Do we Just count him in his and... Yeah. We don't count him in... Uh, we don't count him in Saw or Liar Liar. <laughs> oh, Liar Liar. What about uh, Psych? He was in that as the world's greatest criminal. I've not seen that. He's kind of yes. like a James Bond villain. <laughs> Ooh. I think. I don't know. He's got like an umbrella that's also like a grappling hook, so he's like a gadget villain kind of thing. Go, go, gadget umbrella. Go, 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 gadget umbrella grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you see oh, Doug's God. doing? Did you see Doug doing uh, Inspector Gadget? I did not. Oh, it's you funny. should. You should. It's funny. It's you really did. good. Cause I, I actually liked that movie when I was younger than I was it. So, shit, I should have got beaten up for that. That was crap. It was the same thing with me when I first started. It, when when I was a kid, I liked the movie Godzilla. Oh yeah. I still kind of like it. I still kind of like it. That's a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of fish. I, 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 still do, I still think that that was probably, a, that was on Doug's part, that was a huge nitpick. I think he yeah. went into that one for way too long. Okay, uh -huh. he said a lot of fish. Moving on. You don't get that he said a lot of fish. Yes, it's a lot of fish. Fuck! Do another joke! <laughs> that yeah. was watching that review. Of all the reviews he's done, that's probably my least favorite, just because... Not not just because he spent a long time on That's a Lot of Fish, but I still kind of like that movie. I suppose we should pro, uh, close out this podcast, because we've kind of just really haven't been on topic at all today. Yeah. <laughs> not our fault. Not our fault. Um, so, yeah, any closing thoughts you guys have? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. My precious! <laughs> I <suck>. Fat hobbitses! <laughs> uh, Chris, do you have any closing thoughts? Shire! Dragons! No, I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Goodbye. So that must have been crazy. Yes, he is. Cooking. Cooking. Or's Laloy. Or's Laloy. <laughs> <laughs> we the missed him so no way way. No way way. All the way way. No way way. No. I think I'm going to make a movie called Horse Laloy. <laughs> 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 Who would star in it? Oh god. Um here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Hors Laloy starring <laughs> Julia Roberts, Ellen Page, and hmm. One more whore. <laughs> <laughs> Plays a good hoe. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's such a perfectionist with picking a whore. Yeah, I can see that. I can hear that. Jenna Elfman. <laughs> Jenna. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I know what you mean. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's, there's the whores, and we need a loy. We have Neeson. We have Neeson, for some oh. reason, I think. <laughs> Or will be no, no. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Somebody who would be good in a horror movie. Jake Gyllenhaal. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's good at... <laughs> There's your cast of Horse Loloi. Yay. Directed by... That translates to Whores and Loy. That's what that translates to. Whores and Loy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Who's directing? Will you direct it? Un- a bunch of whores meet a guy named Loy who wants to be a whore, but he can't because he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna direct it? He doesn't fit into the all girl. He doesn't fit into the all girls whore school or something. <laughs> <laughs> who would direct it? Loy wants to go to whore school, but the three whores won't let him. Okay, who directs it? <laughs> hmm. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> and who's the original score? Yeah, who's gonna? Who's the original score? Yeah, who's gonna write yeah, the original score? Yeah, who's doing the original score? Hmm. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Light and breezy melodies. No, <laughs> no, no, no. This is gonna be like an orchestral action movie. <laughs> <laughs> Horse school I is can't dangerous. Wait to see that. <laughs> Come on, Tarantino? You don't you think this is gonna be light and melodic? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Tarantino's gonna pick it up in this movie. Yes. Wars and Loy. Coming to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we've used up all the crazy for today. Did we say goodbye? Goodbye. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, my Fasha. Goodbye, Attack Squad. Thanks for listening to the Attack of the Awesome podcast. The Attack Squad, they're gone. Uh, what, what did you think of this podcast? It was the greatest podcast I've ever seen in my life! Or heard! I mean, hey, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just, this is a podcast? I thought I was just hearing voices in my head again. Oh, that's very relieving.